This video is made with the sponsorship of Ecrotech New Zealand, one source for all your beekeeping requirements. Hi, Trev here from Trev's Bees on Facebook and YouTube. For those of you who have been following my videos, you know I'm uh, pretty fastidious about checking and testing for varroa mites. I made a video just recently um, which we put up about doing an alcohol wash. I'm not interested in doing mite drops, natural mite fall, because it's too inaccurate. I'm not much interested in doing a, a sugar shake, because that also is too inaccurate. There's only two tests that we can do really. Uh, is one's the alcohol wash, which I've shown you that. That video is already up. And just the other day, uh, I saw a sample kit up in Ecrotech um, and they're going to import these very shortly. It comes with this and this little bottle. So by Sweetie and uh, it gives you the instructions on uh, or tells you what's in here and it's for doing CO2 method of testing the bees. What it does is it puts the bees to sleep, it puts the varroa to sleep, then when we give the bees a shake up, like we did with the alcohol wash, the varroa fall off because they, while they're asleep they forgot to hold on, and then we can check it. So they, Sventi have made this little kit, and it's got the little instructions on here. So, we get a little sample of about 200 bees, we uh, put them in here, we put a shot of CO2 in here, about four to six seconds worth. Well, I reckon it's about less than that, two or three seconds of, uh, of this is fine. Um, then you leave it for about 10 to 20 seconds, so all the bees got a chance to go to sleep. Then you give it a good shake for about 10 to 20 seconds, and then you can take the bottom off, and you can count the varroa that are in there. Um, and it comes with one of these little threaded CO2 bottles. Um, there was a bit of water in there, I washed it this morning. Um, so, and, I'll fit, and those little cylinders, I can buy them at the bike shop uh, for inflating your tyres on your push bike. They're about five dollars a tube and you can get about 10 or 12 samples uh, at a time. So we're going to uh, put a bee suit on in a minute and we're going to go outside and do a sample with the sweeting kit. Now one of the advantages of this, of course, over the alcohol wash, this puts the bees to sleep. They do not die. They look pretty sad because you've shaken them up and, um, and you knocked them around a bit. However, they do all come back to life again. Whereas with an alcohol wash, the three, two, three hundred bees that you've sampled are dead. There is no coming back from that. So, particularly for the hobbyist who uh, is a little bit squeamish about killing so many bees, this might be a good option. I think the kits are going to go for around about 40 odd bucks. Over to you to decide on whether it's worth it. But one thing we really do need to know is we need to know how many varroa we have. And we need to know when to check, when to test. So, with the power of video, we're going to go outside and uh, do the test. Right, we're out here now in the bee yard and we're going to do the CO2 sampling. This is the same hive we've done the uh, alcohol wash on, but it's grown a bit. 
it was uh, two boxes high last time we checked. It's now five boxes high. Um, so we'll give the bees a bit of smoke just to let them know that we're here. And we got a queen excluder in down here. Not the proper <coughs> paradise one, but just an ordinary queen excluder. Um, so all the brood is down here. So that's where we have to take our sample from. We need to take the sample of open brood because that's where the varroa hang out on the bees around the open brood. So that when the when the bees are about to cap the honey or cap the cells, the varroa hop in. So let's throw the lid on and then start taking the lid off. Remember my little trick when we go to zip up, fold the legs over so there's no bee space in there, close the lid up. Always start from the top and work to the bottom. When you don't have propolis mats on, and I don't have them on these hives because um, people come and look at them, always get wax built up on the top. Oh, that's full of honey. Look at that, bees are doing what the bees are meant to do. That frame is full of honey, just waiting to be capped. Beautiful. When you see this white wax that's in here now, that tells you that there's a bit of a honey flow on and the girls are into what we call white waxing. When they're doing that, they're building comb. Now, I'm going to take it off here, even though I can see that there's, the queen's not here. I always take it from here, reverse it so it's up the right way, and put it on that box. I go to the bottom box first, and then we'll see if we can get the brood out of there. Okay, so we're now at inspection time. We want to get the sample. So I've got all my gear here. Sample but container, quantity container, my tester, all here. The first thing I always do, a couple of puffs of smoke, quite just settle the bees. Notice I can still keep my back reasonably straight while I'm working here. That's just a pollen frame. Mm. 
Fuck the back full of your bloody honey flat out. That's all cat brood. Get more honey. Fuck the honey anywhere. Boxes just fucking honey. Okay, we've got a frame here that's got a lot of open brood on it. So I put my container up here, shake the bees in, and as we can see, there's open brood all through here, a bit of cat brood here, that's fine, but mostly this is all open brood. I think we'll find the next frame is the same. We also have a check to make sure we haven't got the queen in here, although not quite so important. Because even if the queen's in here, we're not actually going to kill her or kill the bees. That's looking good. bees on here, shake them to the bottom, shake them to the end, get my measuring container, take as many bees as I want, shake them in there and put the lid on. Now when you're using this CO2 dispenser, it's important that you hold your hand on here and two or three little short bursts. remember out of one canister I got about 10 samples leave those for a few minutes for a few seconds about 10 to 15 seconds get all the bees back into the hive that we can while we're at it we'll put the second box back on again Now pretty much all the bees are asleep and now we need to shake it. Bees are already starting to come alive. And you see the bees are starting to walk away from there where I just dumped them. still happily alive. Mind you, if you've been shot with CO2, I guess you'd be happy to be alive as well. <laughs> so, that's uh, Varroa testing with 
CO2 will catch around the beehive. 